Today we are here to talk about the blue-headed stepchild of the collection, also the box. This is my Corvette C8 and I just haven't gotten rid of it and there is a reason why. Now it is kind of at the bottom of the list right now and who knows, I may end up selling it, but there's a lot of fun things about it. Backing up a little bit, this was the very first car that I actually ordered and spec'd out of the entire collection, most of them I bought used. Now I'm really into specking the cars. Um, I loved the rapid blue color and I actually waited an entire year. Now the cool thing about it is when my allocation came up, they had just released a convertible. So they said, do you want a convertible or the coupe? And I'm like, well, hell yeah, I'll take the convertible. And that's how I was able to get one of the first convertibles that rolled off the line and definitely was the first Pandem widebody convertible uh, Corvette that was offered. And we learned some stuff along the way. One of the things we learned about the wide body was that the spoiler from the Pandem kit, and they didn't even know this because again, first convertible install. Um, they said, you're just gonna have to try to put the spoiler on and see if it works. We did, it did not work. Tommy talked me into doing this. I wanted to do some ridiculous, huge, I mean, Bailey, you're gonna, you're gonna have to cut to it because now, now that I think about what I, what I wanted to put on it, it was kind of embarrassing because this actually looks really clean and good, right, Tommy? You did okay. I do it again. And what was the color that you wanted to do in this car initially? Do you remember? Oh, uh, there was a yellow. You wanted silver with orange stripes was I don't a know strong I was contender. You were, you were serious about it. And I talked him into blue and I think this color fits this car super well. Good segue into that. So we have actually updated what the Esco and the Bugatti looks like. We made some subtle changes uh, to both of those vehicles. And you know what, Bailey, we should show them what they actually look like because they're way cooler looking than our video where we thought that we had decided on them. So we're gonna show you those. Take a look, let us know what you think about them. Back to the C8. So I have never owned a Corvette in my entire life. This was kind of one of the pinnacle cars when I was a kid to have. Um, maybe I was less supercar driven, more like, hey, I just want a really cool Corvette. And that was a big part of the reason that I bought it, but mostly because they changed it into a mid-engine, badass looking Corvette. Um, it's arguably the coolest looking, best performing, just really, really nice car. And I've even got a allocation for the Z06, right? And somebody knows somebody who can get us one for MSRP, hit me up. But I think, I think we're committed. <laughs> <laughs> but let us we'll know. See. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. But she wide, no doubt, specking this, I definitely lean a lot on my boy Tommy, um, Piers. I wanted to make this thing great. I am a huge fan of color matched interiors and I think that almost everything that I order from here on out is gonna have at least stitching that matches, but probably a little bit more heavy. I mean, take a look at the Bugatti that you just saw. Like, color matched interior just looks sexy. We're gonna open the door, give you a little sneak peek. I'll go in a little bit more detail about the interior in a little bit. Um, I'll even pop the top right now so we can get a better view. There we go. Too many cars to figure out. Too many. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. That's a hard top convertible. Folding top motion complete, thank you. All right, so now you get a little better view of the interior again. We're gonna go over it a little bit better later, but. By the way, the top went down to 13.2 you know seconds. Why? That's faster than it. Steve. <laughs> not, much, not by much. Beautiful, sexy interior, even a little bit of carbon on the seats. So one thing that you uh, might've noticed in the beginning was that this thing is slammed. We installed an air ride kit, and that might even be one of the first air ride kits installed on the Corvette, because we ran into a ton of issues. Tommy, why don't you go into like all the issues, because you dealt with most of it. Yeah, it took forever. So the new C8, Steve optioned this car, which was an additional cost, with a magnetic air ride and it was a pain in the butt to uh, get this thing working with the air ride. We actually, if you open up the front, you can see our little workaround <laughs> for the, uh, the suspension codes was by plugging in the stock suspension into the system so the car just- They're just, lo they're just loose. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, it doesn't read that they're not attached to the car. But hey, it works, the car's not in limp mode. Um, hopefully now that there have been a few more wide body C8s um, that somebody's figured out a way to get around the, all the air suspension errors. But it was a headache. I think it took probably a month just on the air ride to figure out all the errors and, and get this thing on the road and, and working. It didn't go over, it was like 82 miles an hour, I thought, for a while. We had, to, it, had so many hiccups, that was so annoying. I mean, man's gotta go 100 plus miles an hour. <laughs> at least, Not me? Every time you drive, at least once. Oh, the C8 has like the best suspension and we got rid of it. The I know, stock. I spent what, $3,000 on that option? Maybe it was, I don't even remember what it was, but. That was one of the big features of this car was the, the clutch and then the suspension was a huge deal. The magnetic air ride, it was, is it, it's not air ride. The magnetic suspension was a big deal on it. They have GPS enabled suspension on this where it lifts depending on what your location is. The Tesla was way out of them, right? Wide body we had installed by Exact Performance. I think they did a great job. What I didn't like was that, they, that there are a bunch of stainless rivets. Um, we knew when they were doing it that that was the case, I think, and, uh, and now that I see it, don't you think that that should have black rivets? I mean, comment below or let me know if you think that this actually looks pretty bad 
it bugs me, but if you think it should be Black Rivets, and you know what, we read the comments, we listen to you. Speaking of Black Rivets, if you guys have a hookup, um, we would love to work with somebody that, that sells rivets and uh, can get us, I'll, we can put a, um, the size on them on the screen, so if you guys know anybody that wants to hook it up, I <laughs> will. I don't know the dimensions of these. That, that's testimony that, that I'm thrifty. He told me that we found some for $700. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to spend 700 bucks on some black rivets. Um, you know, remain thrifty. Even when you become successful, you have to, you have to be thrifty minded, right? <laughs> I do like to mix in typically a third color. We've got the rapid blue, we have black. I thought that yellow calipers looked really good, ran it by everybody. They also thought that it looked good. And I think that we made the right decision ultimately by doing yellow calipers. Like a true yellow, like a Ferrari. These are kind of like, Baby Absolutely. puke green. Yeah, they're not quite, if they were brighter yellow. I'm with you there. Yeah. I'm in agreement there. Okay. If only we could paint them. I could paint them right now. Um, <laughs> give me some spray paint with a wheel. <laughs> we should do some crazy shit like that to the Resvani. I'm just so done with that Resvani. I'm still gonna drive it and have fun with it, but like we should just spray paint it, have some fun, shoot it with a gun. We already talked about that. that that's coming. As I mentioned, it took me a year to get this Corvette. Um, I had a little bit of a heads up when it was coming. Funny thing is I was actually driving through Bowling Green, Kentucky, like a day or two before it was supposed to be delivered and I was trying to coordinate to go see this thing come off the line, but it was during COVID so they weren't allowing it. That would have been so timed awesomely. But where I was smart was I ordered my wide body kit and I ordered my wheels way ahead of time. I had all of them sitting in my, I had all of these boxes sitting in my living room, just waiting for this arrival of this. So we got all that slapped on right away. I am, a, I am a firm believer in wheels, by the way, uh, Stradman, extremely similar Rapid Blue Corvette C8. Just installed some Anovia wheels from our company. You can shop for them at fitmanindustries.com. We have an awesome selection of wheels and tires. That is one of the companies that I own, believe in, and buy all my car wheels from. So go hit that up. Let's throw in a link of the Strad's video on his wide body C8 that he did a whole thing about your wheels too. So yeah. we'll put a link in the description, check it out. Strad did an amazing video on his car as well. Yes, props to Stradman for, for hooking us up. He is a good dude. Good and uh, <laughs> and we do have some overlap, unintentional overlap in cars that we like, but you know what? It's a bad looking car. The Countach is a great car. Our Porsche Safari is a little different, but that's okay. <laughs> Speaking of the Safari, there it is. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Close oh. your ears. Close your ears. Uh, <laughs> Safari, so Safari, we are gonna work on some awesome um, upgrades to it. We're gonna make that thing look like the off-road vehicle that it's supposed to be, so stay tuned for some awesome renditions of what that's gonna be. Tommy's working on it. You have an issue. This bag keeps um, leaking, and whenever we start it, it takes all the energy out of the battery. Is that why, is that why, so I've never had air ride before, but whenever I hit it, it's like constantly adjusting. It's like, it gets down, there's like. You have, you have 3H, right? So it has height adjustment? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> look at her. It's I know. The stance in me. Bags GDM. are for groceries. Um, Natalia can, can, she knows how to drive a lowered vehicle too. I scrape the crap out of a lot of these, just that, not thinking about it. She'll hit, she'll hit a bump like sideways. I agree. And just uh, anyone, anyone who drives the cars, <laughs> true. she's the one. I don't think you've ever scraped anything. No, yes. I haven't. And that's pretty impressive. But I'd yeah. say I scrape on a bi-weekly basis, at least once. I don't have, I don't like a five-spoke wheel on many vehicles. Most of my wheels are, are like intricate, different, neat designs in my opinion, but I think the Corvette begs for a very simple five-spoke design. And I love the matte black on gloss black look that this offers. So I actually really like the way these wheels turned out. They either love or absolutely hate my wheel choices. There's never a middle ground. What do you guys think about the wheels? You know what I think? You know what is a great five-spoke choice? TE37s. Oh, Those are six-spoke. <laughs> anyway, I want to put those on the GTR. <laughs> you should some, some JDM five spoke T thirty seven. You should. Show, uh, I hope it is. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, they're five. Oh, those are. T37s. Those are, those are. I'm just okay, kidding, yeah. guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe this. We have some merch, and it's for sale. All proceeds go to charity. And if you buy merch for every five dollars you spend, you get a raffle ticket to come and join us on our track day. We will have 50 guests, one lucky winner will get to ride with Steve in the Bugatti. It's gonna be insane, buy some merch, it's amazing. It's actually so special, we have it roped off, so normal people can't get any, only you. And that ends May 10th, so you have to go buy before May 10th, and it'll be a good time. Thank you, back to the video. Tommy was telling me how he almost died driving this car. I did, yes, the day that I picked this car up for Steve, uh, I was up in northern Wisconsin, he had it delivered, and I drove it home and didn't check the weather and there was a massive whiteout blizzard and it was on sport tires. And right about the time I was getting near uh, Iron Gate, I was probably doing about 25 miles an hour on the highway. 
because you tap the brakes and the car would, I'm not exaggerating, it would slide a full lane over with no control. It was like luck that I didn't get in an accident. It was pretty sketchy. Well, what do you have if I crash the car the day I got? I mean, what's important is that we got the car in time. Well, no, <laughs> getting insurance, <laughs> which is a Pagani that. wasn't insured for how long? Three months. <laughs> Three months, sorry Nate. Speaking of insurance, you can be sure that you can fit two golf bags back here. Oh, Tommy's yeah. a big golf I love guy. me and Steve golf all the time and, and it prevents me car from- And you from never working. take this car. We've never taken this car golfing once, but if we did, you can fit two bags of golf clubs in here. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. What is, that's impressive because there's a front trunk, a rear trunk, the engine has to be stuffed back here too. Um, How many dead bodies can you fit back there? <laughs> I mean, two Italians. <laughs> <laughs> so the Corvette came with a square chrome exhaust system that just wasn't loud enough. I like my cars loud and fast, just like I like my Tommy's. And so the first thing we did was get a board. And throaty. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now this was not something that we ordered ahead of time. Um, we ordered it after, and we did find a Borla exhaust system that is really loud. We're gonna throw it in Z mode, start it up for you. You'll hear just how much louder it is than factory and it sounds awesome. And then we're gonna take you guys for a drive and go over some of the other awesome features and why I just can't sell this thing. And my wife also likes it a lot, that's part of the reason why. Two quick notes is, uh, we're gonna throw a clip in of the stock exhaust so you guys can see the old exhaust tips and be able to hear it. Um, this does have a Valvetronic exhaust, which is super nice to like pull in at night and not to be super loud, but then it, it really opens up and becomes this throaty, deep American muscle sounding Corvette, which is, uh, it's fun. But I think these round tips look so much better than the, the stock square tips. I didn't like them, but uh, you know, that's it. And now it's black. Right, so it's high speed. Ready without valves. Ready without valves. <laughs> But it does sound really this good. This is the least driven car. By far. By far this car has the least miles in the amount of time of any car C-Bones. I don't fit, I'm 6'4", I don't fit in it very well. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't have more headroom. Um, Steve's brother Joel has a C7 ZR1. I fit just fine in that car. I love how that car drives. But the, I think because of the mid-engine, it just like, it's a little tight to me. The interior feels a little cramped, which is something that I noted, but I'm also bigger than most people um, in both ways. So. Steve, take it away. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's go for a drive now and go have some freaking fun in this thing, yeah? All right, let's start this up. Boom. Buckle it for safety, y'all. One thing I always forget to do is air it up, so I have driven this thing forward twice, forgetting to air it up and scrape the shit up out the bottom. So first things first, you hit this button, it shows you the air ride settings, then you tap it twice and it's gonna bring it all up to the proper air level. You can hear it adjusting probably because there's a leak or that's just what these things do. Let's take this thing for a ride. And again, remind you all why I just, uh, why I can't get rid of this. So as we mentioned, amazing looking interior. I mean, look at all the blue right here. Um, it's just, it's pretty, I like it. One thing I don't like about this is how many buttons they, I mean, Look at all these buttons just to control climate and seat warmers. Like, it's stupid how many buttons there are here. Just silly. Hey, there's my new car condo. You like that? There it is, guys. That's coming soon. Open to the public any day now. Exciting. Chicago Motor Car is, of course, right there. Great partner that has sold and found us um, some pretty cool freaking cars. Let's do a little power slide out of here, yeah. Oh, there we go. Traction control killed it. I'm gonna have to turn that off. There it is. All right, boom, traction control off. Dismiss yet another. Up oh, the lift system warning back at it. Side note, I have the 3LT interior package. It is the best um, one that they offer. At the time when I received this lovely Corvette, it was uh, super high over MSRP. These things were going for $20,000 above MSRP. So I'm like, well, I could spec the crap up out of it and still come out positive. So uh, I basically didn't hold back on any of the options. Um, it has pretty much every option, including that magnesium suspension that we talked about that ended up creating that lift error. Um, we should go have some fun in this thing though. I need to go find a, a good road. 
heads up display. Do not have that feature in a lot of cars at all. Chevy's been doing that for a while. I know other manufacturers do, but heads up display is always nice because it reminds me to go the speed limit. Let's do a poll. Here we go. Hey. I mean, it's quick. I'm not going to lie. as fast as some of the supers and hypers the bang for the buck on this i mean these things st are starting in the sixty thousand dollar range like a mid-engine car that can keep up with some supercars in the 60s like that is incredible i did mention that my wife likes driving this for whatever reason she just enjoys the corvette she's like i want to go take the corvette out today so i'm like why not the mclaren why not the bugatti and she just likes the corvette so that definitely uh, weighs into my decision. Handling is, is great. Again, for a 60 something thousand dollar car, definitely the best value for a performance car under hundred grand. It looks amazing. Handling's really tight, although with the wide body kit and really wide wheels. I mean, these wheels that are on this, if I didn't have the wide body kit, they would stick out three inches past the body, right? Because the wide body kit's super wide. That's part of the reason why it rubs when it turns. So even at the highest height, it tends to uh, rub really bad. So that's an unfortunate side effect of having this pandem kit and wide wheels but i think it's worth sacrifice i mean i think we all have modifications we make where you sacrifice stuff like that and we all know it's well worth it i always do the wide scan for the fine members of our police enforcement there we go smoking them There's a bridge coming up. One of my favorite things to do is roll the windows down. Give it some, give it some aggressive throttle. Let's see what that sounds like. It's kind of windy. Hopefully that doesn't, isn't all you hear. Oh, that's bad. Wow, open parking lot, yeah. All right, wow, look at this building. That looks scary. How have, I met, how have I not seen this? All right, let's see what she's got. I hope this doesn't have the the option where you like, when you hit traction control, let me see. Now it's off. Some vehicles you hit it once and it's like limited traction control and then you gotta like hold it down for a while, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this thing. So let's see what we got. Ooh, it doesn't, it doesn't like the brake torque. All right. There's some smoke, yeah, all right, all right. Realize there's a guy in that truck, so we're gonna jet out of here. <laughs> Why haven't I sold this thing? Because it's just fun, folks. It's good, cheap, American fun. It lives lives to see another day and also it's a great color it gives another car that we can share with the community let people sit in it i mean it was a corvette that my wife was first denied being able to sit in and that ultimately inspired me to share my vehicles with everybody so full circle and uh and it just gives us another bad looking car the only wide body that we have actually in the hamilton collection Frankly, it just gives us another car to share with everybody. That looks really good. And I think this can fit right in looks wise with the other supercars. So let's head back home, y'all. Just got home and naturally it started raining the last freaking one minute of my drive. But here we are. Lots of fun driving the Corvette every time. I think that I am reminded why. And this goes for a lot of cars that I'm kind of doubting where I go and drive it and I'm reminded why I actually enjoy it again. And, and that kind of, that was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, so. Corvette, you get to live for another day. As always, thank you so much for watching. Lots more content coming that is awesome. Some awesome collaborations, awesome track event. Um, we're just super excited for everything. Go buy some merch. Go buy some freaking merch. All profits go to charity. Tommy gets no money from this organization, from any of this stuff. He is a free worker. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. I was like waiting for you to point at me. It was gross. All right. <laughs> Y'all have a great day!
seriously, if you guys want my Venmo, I don't get paid. Uh, it is Tommy W. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, he's not. I don't.